During the month of March, we celebrated remarkable women in our community. And out of four finalists today, we announce our winner. A woman who has overcome very many hard times in her life. However, the hardships in her life have only made her into a stronger and even more remarkable woman today. On behalf of KX News, I would like to present to you Ms. Beverly Unrath, our Remarkable Woman winner for the year of 2024. Beverly, you are very deserving of this award. I can think of no one else better to have this than you. So it's been very pleasurable getting to know you. Oh, thank you, Taylor. Yes. Thank you. This is such an honor. Well, thank you, Beverly. And here's more on her story. And I think one of the greatest challenges is discouragement. And so when you can encourage somebody and in a positive way, they can lean into their purpose and their calling. Her calling began as a tug from her sister. Beverly Unrath's sister, Jamie, had a spark of inspiration in 2012 after her friend Heidi had a life-altering brainstem stroke. Luckily, Heidi survived. However, she was then diagnosed with locked syndrome. This then left her paralyzed and she could only move her eyes. At the time, there were no agencies in North Dakota that Heidi could receive at home care. So, Jamie then began Dakota Home Care and inspired others with her vision. And she inspired me to join her and partner with her to start Dakota Home Care. So people with complex medical needs were either hospitalized for long periods of time or they lived in a nursing home. And of course, home is where people thrive. So my sister started Dakota Home Care to be able to provide in-home nursing care, which is one-on-one -on -one care provided by a registered nurse or a licensed nurse. Um, for extended periods of time, usually 12 to 24 hours a day. From newborns all the way to people in their triple digits, Dakota Home Care has helped many families across North Dakota in the 12 years that it's been around, serving as a place of hope to those across North Dakota who need a lot of care, even in rural communities. In 2022, Dakota Home Care was a finalist for the BBB's Torch Ethics Award. And in 2024, they were the recipient of three awards by Home Care Pulse for the best of home care in provider of choice, leader in experience, and employer of choice. So we promote um, core values such as empathy, compassion, and generosity in everything that we do. And I think leading with these principles, we aim to create a culture where employees feel supported, and valued, and empowered to do their best work so that they can not only excel professionally, but also thrive personally. However, over the years, Unrath has dealt with very hard times. She's lost very many people in her life. The same year that they began Dakota Home Care, her brother died by suicide. A few years later, in 2018, her mom passed from Alzheimer's, and her father died from cancer in 2020. Two years later, her sister Jamie passed away from cancer as well. Instead of giving up, Unrath used her grief as a way to better understand others and implement empathy and compassion into her work. Unrath says that losing so many family members tragically within the last 10 years, all while raising kids and starting a business from the ground up, has been challenging. However, through it all, she was able to develop resilience and strength that empowers her to be a more empathetic and strong leader. I think because of the challenges and the obstacles that I've been through in my journey has inspired me to help others. To honor her sister's memory, Dakota Home Care now offers a $2,500 nursing scholarship in her name. And now, a couple years later, Unrath is being nominated for KX News' Remarkable Woman Award, an award her sister was also nominated for in 2021. You know, it's hard to consider yourself as a remarkable person. And so really what I, I did was think about, you know, the people in my life that have inspired and empowered me to be remarkable. And my sister Jamie's determination and her vision for Dakota Home Care is what inspired me to be able to overcome the grief and continue our mission without her feels remarkable because it was so overwhelming. And Unrath says, it's not just about the award itself, it's about the shared journey, the shared values, and the shared commitment to leaving a lasting impact. She says, it's a great reminder that a little of my sister will always live in me. 
She also volunteers for SCORE, where she gives free mentoring to those who wish to start their own business. And she also serves a, and supports the Alzheimer's Association and the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And if you ever get any free time, what do you like to do? Um, well, I have free time. I love to spend time with my family and friends. I love the Missouri River. I love the lakes, Lakes Kakawea. I like to, I'm looking forward to summer and yeah, I mean, I think we're all looking forward to summer. <laughs> and now you get to go to L.A. after this, um, coming this week. You get to head to L.A. and with 112 other remarkable women throughout the U.S. And there she will get the opportunity to participate in some activities and marketing events. So it sounds really exciting for you. And once again, I can't think of anyone more deserving than this. Oh, thank you, Taylor. Yes. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you very you much. Thank you so much, Beverly.